Governance is about power. Governance is the structure within a system, such as a protected area, that organizes or defines decision-making power and processes. It refers to how power is exercised and which are the social actors who can have a say and influence the final decision. While governance concerns who are the organizations and individuals exercising the powers, authorities and responsibilities in a particular site or situation, management is about what is done, the concrete actions and measures resulting from a decision process. Four broad governance types can be distinguished depending on the key actors holding authority and responsibility for the main management decisions in protected areas. Centralized governance refers to most centralized systems of decision-making and management systems in which the protected area management bodies are directly subordinated to the central responsible authority. However, governance by a state agency means that the protected area management bodies are directly subordinated to a national agency. We are talking about state governance when a governmental entity holds the authority, responsibility and accountability for an individual protected area or a protected area system. This entity has the responsibility and power to establish and implement the conservation objectives and measures. While the decision-making power is centralized by the state authorities, the management tasks, such as management planning or implementation, can be delegated to other state or non-governmental organizations. We are talking about delegated management when the responsible authorities delegate protected area management responsibility to other public or private entities. While the first often retain the control and coordination, the latter take over the operational management and decision-making at local or regional level. Shared governance means that a number of governmental and non-governmental actors, which are formally or informally entitled, jointly run the protected area authority and share responsibility. We are talking about transboundary management when the two protected area administrative bodies have joint decision-making procedures and some formal framework for joint actions. Collaborative management means that multi-stakeholder bodies exist and have a permanent role or responsibility in the management of a protected area. Fully joint management of shared governance takes place when various actors are included in a governing body holding the authority and responsibility for the protected area management. Private governance is mainly determined by its specific ownership regime. The protected area land and resources are owned by individuals, associative structures, NGOs and corporations, either for profit or not for profit. A privately conserved area refers to a land plot owned by any type of private actor and conserved de facto. The landowner voluntarily retains the management authority and the responsibility for the conservation outcomes while the accountability to the wider society is often limited. When truly managed as protected areas, these provide public benefits. Governance by indigenous peoples and local communities takes place when the authority and responsibility for a protected area management rests with the communities and are expressed through various forms of customary or legal, formal or informal institutions and rules. Land and resources can be collectively owned, although they don't necessarily have to belong to the local communities. The principle of legitimacy and voice 
looks to the social dialogue and collective agreements on protected area management objectives and strategies on the basis of freedom of association and speech with no discrimination related to gender, ethnicity, lifestyle, cultural values or other characteristics. The principle of subsidiarity means that the management authority and responsibility are attributed to the most suitable level and as closely as possible to the resources at stake. The principle of accountability implies that there are clearly demarcated lines of responsibility for the different entities involved in the decision-making process and management. It also ensures adequate reporting and answerability to all stakeholders about the fulfillment of their responsibility. The principle of performance is defined as being effective in conserving biodiversity and achieving the other objectives of the protected area whilst considering the concerns of stakeholders. The principle of fairness is about sharing the costs and benefits of establishing and managing protected areas equitably and providing a recourse to impartial judgment in case of conflict. The principle of direction is about fostering and maintaining a consistent long-term vision for the protected area and its conservation objectives.